So I've been trying to diagnose the problem in my Isuzu i290 truck um, with blower motors not been working for the AC. Um, so I kind of started with the, the easiest things that you need to first look at and I looked at the uh, resistor. So I looked at the resistor. Um, the resistor is if you go under the, uh, the passenger side under the, the dashboard this uh, this is where the resistor is right you uh, remove that bolt and uh, the resistor will come out this here is the uh, the blower motor right and uh, under the uh, so you can see my hand so and this is the power to the motor right so the first thing I did now the power over here you can see the power over here on the circuit so the power goes uh, from the ignition relay as I'll show you this under the the hood uh, through the fuse all right and then it goes through a couple of uh, connections here and then through to the motor now um, the power wire is brown and the ground is the orange so the first thing I did is I went and uh, changed the resistor, right? Because obviously I could see that the resistor was burnt out. Now uh, these resistors, I've seen online that these re resistors kind of um, fail quite often on uh, on these cars, the Colorado, uh, and I forget what the GMC one is, but uh, yeah, the Suzu, they're pretty much the same truck. So I went online and then, so I wanted to get a full assembly. Uh, let me get these wires out. Sorry about that. So I went and got a new um, full wire harness, okay. And uh, so this is, this is the connection that goes to the resistor, right? That's over here. That's over here. And uh, so when the switch, when the when the fan switch is on, right, it should complete the connection. Right, so the ground connection should be complete if uh, if if the switch is on. Now the easy way to test that is to uh, remove, if you uh, go under here and remove the, uh, the fan plug switch, kind of look like, uh, looks like this, right? This is the old one that I removed because I bought the new harness. If you remove this, so this brown is the power, the orange is is the ground. Um, so if the resistor is gone, is blown out, it should still complete the circuit uh, on full, on high power. In this case, it's four. Uh, because it bypasses the resistor. All right, it bypasses the resistor and it goes to high. So when you switch this to high, it should go through here and still complete the circuit. So if it's not working on high, then uh, there's either a problem in the harness over here or a connection to the ground over here or it's actually not getting power. All right, so if you wanna check if this is working, what you can do is basically plug in your multimeter, right, between the, the ground, Just stick it in here, right, and then, then go under the hood. So this is where the uh, the ground connection is, okay? So if you see this bolt. This is where the ground connection for, and you see this block over here. This is what completes the ground for the AC blower. And um, to get to that, you can, you can just remove this bolt, okay? Sticking a wire here. I just used one of these, one of these wires, right? 
right so you connect one of these wires in here and then when you go inside you can check for uh, continuity all right um, so if you check for continuity between the orange over here and the ground over there that will tell you if there's a problem over here okay so I checked that and uh, the ground seemed fine all right there was no problem over here the connectors were fine uh, there was continuity between the uh, between the uh, ground over here the orange cable going to the motor and here when I turned on the blower when I turned it off there was no continuity so which means this whole assembly is fine this area is fine all right so uh, you know I had to pull this out uh, I, I actually don't remember why I had to pull it out I wanted to check if there was something going on here but you actually don't need to do that so if you were really trying to figure out if something's going on here right if you check continuity that should uh, test this side all right so the next thing you want to do is the, the other easy ones right so you can go check the relay and and the HVAC uh, and the the blower uh, fuse it's a 30 amp fuse so basically so you go to the front of the car and uh, you want to remove the uh, so right in front of the battery if you remove this right the relay co box cover see a whole bunch of relays and fuses in there all right so so if you look at the back inside of the uh, the cover you'll be able to see uh, the HVAC uh, relay right and then the blower 30 amp fuse right in my case the uh, the AC compressor was turning on when I turned on the switch so I wasn't worried about the AC compressor but um, I was worried uh, that the blower was not working however so so you can test out the if the relays got a problem okay basically you pull this out all right you want to make sure that your car's not in ignition right you pull this out okay now these can basically go in any direction all right so um and it'll tell you over here how it completes the circuit so if you give a voltage between if you give 12 volts between uh, let me get this in focus 86 and 85 it'll complete the circuit between 30 and 87 so every time you turn on the ignition 86 and 85 gets 12 volts and at 30 and 87 will close all right so if you really want to check it the best way to do it is uh, give it get a 12 volt supply you know you can even like connect a wire from here to here not here to here but here to the the 85 86 and then one that goes from here to the negative I also have a 12 volt you know emergency power uh, supply so I just directly connected it and I checked and you, you you can hear it click when you hear it click when you give it power then you know that it's uh, it's working all right uh, and you can even switch one of these these are all the same ones all right some of these are so you can switch them out and check that and check if the relay is a problem if uh, if that works fine the next thing you need to do is check the uh, the blower fuse okay this 30 amp fuse you can pull it out um, and the way to check this one is uh, if I can get it out okay we got it out I mean you can visually inspect it right and see that the the wires connected all the way through um, so what you can do is stick your multimeter in there and check for continuity, all right? So in my case, that was working fine as well. All right, so I checked the relay. I checked the relay, checked the fuse. That worked fine. So the next thing I needed to check 
was the connection between the fuse and the mortar, the brown wire. All right. So to get to that, so to get to that, you need to. And by the way, if you need to change the harness, the way to change the harness is to you know go in here. And uh, you kind of need two hands for this. But basically you pinch on both sides and this will drop. And then the whole harness is back there. There you go. The whole harness is uh, back there. And uh, so when you buy this, if you did buy a new harness, which, which I wouldn't advise you to do it immediately unless you see that one of these wires burnt out. It's about... I think about thirty forty dollars to get the whole thing or sixty maybe I don't remember how much I paid for it um, you do that right and you check over here so these are all the wires that are coming from the resistor okay so this is connection 203 all right you see 203 connection 203 the browns over there the orange is over there so I checked 203 I, I, I put a new harness in here right so I put this new harness. So I checked 203. 203 looked pretty good. All right, so I didn't think 203 was a problem. And you can check if this brown wire here is getting 12 volts. All right, you turn on the ignition, turn on the blower, uh, fan, switch, and see if uh, you're getting 12 volts here. If you're not, okay, then that's a problem. So that would mean I come back to our circuit here, and the problem is not here. The problem is somewhere here. There's two connections where you can check. All right, so the way to check for that is, um, sorry, actually 203 I think is, uh, I'm not sure which one is 203. Let me check, hold on one second. Um, Actually, 203 is uh, one of these other switches here. This one, this is 203, okay? And this over here is 201, okay? So I went through over here and you gotta like pop this out. Uh, you just put a screwdriver in. So this thing, this thing will sit in here. So you just put a flathead screwdriver, pull this out and uh go in here right and uh so i saw this i think the mechanic tried to check the voltage on this it had like a cut on there but anyways i don't mess with it so this brown wire is the problem now okay on my case uh i'm checking for the brown wire i'm checking uh to see where it goes next right so i'm looking for the c4 and that's when i pulled out this panel on the side of the 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 door all right uh, I'm here I forget how it goes back I have to figure, yeah this is how it goes in so I pull this out and I found C4 I'm guessing this is C4 all right I looked at C4 and I had to kind of like yank it off of the side and when you open this switch you open this switch uh you can pull this out apart so this is basically two connectors in here when i opened the connector i saw that this wire was burned out all right the brown wire it's supposed to get voltage right brown wire is burnt out now then what i did is basically i just cut out the brown wire on both sides right one over here and then the other over there and just connected them together straight away. All right, this is poor man's method. Tried it, all right, and I uh, put one of these uh, wire nuts on there, okay? And, uh, and then I checked, turned down the ignition. Well, I guess I should have the fan off, and then turned on the fan, it worked. All right, so. Uh, this is the way uh, to, to diagnose your uh, floor motor 
on a Chevy Colorado or a uh, Isuzu I290 and uh, I think it's GMC Canyon yeah I think the GMC Canyon this is an 07 so and I think they have the similar uh, the same design all the way from 04 to maybe 2010 it's pretty much the same design um, so yeah try and get one of these uh, circuit diagrams try to figure out I mean whichever car you have try and diagnose the problem it took me a few days to figure this out um, started I started over here actually yeah just check these two very simple went down here check the resistor change the harness check the continuity All right and then uh, try to work my way back here and fix this problem all right thanks for watching hope you get your uh, lower motor fixed